Hi friends, my name is Sophie and welcome to your practice. Today we're moving through a back bending focused flow. It's gonna be about 40 minutes. So let's come on down into child's pose to get started. Bring your knees wide, your feet together and crawl your hands forward. And take a deep breath in and let it go. Start to regulate your breath. The inhales and exhales are nice and long and even. In and out of the nose if possible. And then bring your palms together, crawl your elbows forward and bring the thumbs to the back of the head. See if you can crawl your elbows forward even more once you get there. Feel your chest sinking towards the earth. And take one more deep breath. And bring your hands down. Walk your hands up and make your way into table. And then walk your hands back into toes pose. Toes are tucked underneath of you, sit back. And once you get there, maybe spread your toes a little wider and reach your arms up. You're always welcome to come off of the toes. We're going to bend the left elbow, grab onto the left elbow with the right hand and take a side bend to the right. So a big part of back bending is opening up through the side body as well. Come back up to center. You reach the arms up, bend your right elbow, grab onto right elbow with left hand, side bend. And we're gonna be working on strengthening the glutes as well. Strengthening the outer hips so we can be stronger in our back bends. Come back up, reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, release your arms down, come into table. And take a few cat cows here to just move through the spine. And then come back into a neutral spine. Take your right leg back behind you. Turn your right toes out to the right so your right leg externally rotates. And then bring your leg all the way out to the right as far as you can. Both, hand, both arms are straight, palms are flat. And then lower the right foot down to the ground and lift it back up. And again, lower, lift. You should really feel your glutes firing. Lower down, lift it up. Let's do two more. Down. Up, notice if you're collapsing into your shoulders. Down, up, hold. Take your leg straight back behind you and then bend your knee and bring your knee to your right upper arm. And then re-extend it back behind, inhale. Exhale, knee to right upper arm. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to arm, hold. Inhale, extend and set your knee back down to the ground. All right, take your left leg back behind, straight back, turn the leg out to the left and then extend it all the way out to the left. So sweep it over, straighten your arms as much as you can. Lower the foot down and lift it up. So the second side always feels harder. Lower, lift, stay with me, you're strong. Lower, lift, we have two more. Down, up, last one, down, up. Hold it there for just a moment. Take your leg back behind you again so both hip points face down. Now bring your knee to your left upper arm as high as you can. And then re-extend the leg back. Inhale, exhale, knee to upper arm. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to upper arm. Hold. Inhale, extend, and then set both knees back down onto the ground. Wiggle out your hips, shake it out, and then tuck your toes and lift your knees and hips for down dog. Find some movement. Maybe you lift your heels high and lower them back down a few times. Shake your head. And then we'll find stillness. 
and then shift forward into plank and slowly lower to the ground through chaturanga so elbows close as you go down and then take your left elbow out to the left um, into a cactus and bend your right knee and roll over so your right foot goes behind you and you're stretching into the left shoulder so left arm is in cactus you're resting your left side of the head on the ground and your right fingertips can just be propped up right in front of your face. Deep breaths. What's your truth? A big part of the yoga practice is listening to our truth and finding our truth by listening to our bodies and honoring what the body wants and needs. Satya, truthfulness. Let's come back down onto the belly. Take your right arm out to half cactus. Roll over the right side. Left toes go behind you. It's also a nice twist for the spine. Left fingertips down. Take one more full breath here. Come back down onto the belly. Bring your hands under your shoulders and lift up for cobra. Roll the shoulders back, open up the heart. Really feel your upper back muscles turning on here. So engaging, inhale. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes, lift your thighs and press up to plank. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and let it go. Good. Look forward and make your way to the front of the mat, whether you're stepping or hopping. Inhale, halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, stand, reach the arms to the sky. Hands to heart, exhale. Arms down by your sides. Again, inhale, reach the arms up. We're going to do half sun salutations. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand, reach up. Hands to heart, exhale. Arms down by your sides. Again, one more time. Arms up, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand, reach. Hands to heart, exhale. Arms down by your sides. Now reach your arms up. And imagine you're pulling down on a bar and taking the bar back behind you. Bend your knees a little bit and back bend here. Really engage and turn on your upper back muscles again here. Press your head back. Engage those muscles a little more. Fire it up. And then inhale, re extend the arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back behind you into low lunge. Breathe. And on your exhale, put your knee, back knee down on the ground, reach your arms up for Anjaneyasana. Inhale. Exhale, release your hand down, hands down. Lift your back knee, just your fingertips on the ground. Lower the knee back down, reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, hands down, lift your back knee. So we're building strength in the quads. Knee down, reach the arms up. Inhale. And again, lower down, exhale, lift the back knee, set the knee down, reach the arms up. Now we're gonna go into half splits, but you're gonna take your arms into airplane. So you're not using your hands, you're shifting back and flexing your right foot. Think about a back bend within this pose. Can you draw your shoulders back and open up through your heart and flex your foot? Pin your right hip back a little bit more so it's that forward pelvic tilt. One more breath. And then fly back into Anjaneyasana, so you shift forward, you reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Lift your back knee, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand, reach your arms up. On exhale, pull down on that imaginary bar and back bend. Keep your core braced. And then inhale, re-extend the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back behind you into low lunge. Fingertips frame the foot. Set your back knee down onto the ground. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring it back down. Fingertips, lift your back knee. Lower the knee, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands down, reach. Lift your back knee. Once more, knee down, reach the arms up. Hands down, lift your knee. Well, technically we have one more here, so put the knee down, reach the arms up, and then we go into our half split. So shift back, take your arms back behind you, shift forward with your upper body, stick your tailbone back, and then roll the shoulder blades down your upper back. Flex your left foot, draw your pinky toe back. One more breath. Come back into Anjaneyasana. So reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Lift the back knee and step to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand, reach the arms up. We're repeating again, pull that bar down. Open the heart. Oh yeah, it feels so good to open the chest. And then inhale, re-extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your left foot back into low lunge. Go ahead, set your back knee down on the ground. Reach your arms up. Bring your hands to your heart and twist to your right. Hook your elbow. Option to lift your back knee. Press the elbow down. We're gonna be here for a couple breaths, so if you have a different variation that you wanna go into, then you're welcome to. Keep refining and arriving into your alignment. What is your truth? What do you need? And put your back knee down. We come back to center. We reach the arms up. Listen carefully. You're going to slide your right heel back just a little bit so that your knee is a little bit over that ankle, a little deeper than normal. And then take your imaginary bar and again, pull it down and lean it back. And then option to extend your arms back as well. Be honest with yourself. If it's too much, back out. Come back up to center. Release your hands down to the ground, inside of your right foot. Slide your right foot to the right. Untuck your back toes. Slide your back leg back. Lift your right arm up. So we're in lizard, a lizard twist. So now you're gonna try to bring your left um, heel to your glute. So bring it towards you, flex your foot, but don't grab onto the foot, okay? So we're doing this without grabbing the foot. You're actively engaging, using the mobility of your left quad muscles to pull that foot in. Take one more deep breath. Pull in a little more, and then release the foot. Bring the hands down. Now bring your back knee up a little bit so your knee is directly under your hip. So you're a little shorter. And then swing your right leg back behind you, come into a modified half moon, or like a knee down half moon. Nice. Now, I'm just moving on my mat a little. So now you're gonna kick yourself in the butt again with your right heel, but then open and extend through the front body. So you're opening through your hip flexors. Keep reaching it back and back, so you're creating a back bend. Now you can reach back, point the toes and grab onto to your foot, kick your foot into your hand, and have that opening of the chest. Breathe. Imagine like a bow, get it even more taut, bring it back, and then re-extend your leg back, um, straight back behind you, right arm straight up to the sky. Good, now come into one-legged tables. So you're gonna put your feet, sorry, put your hands on the ground and keep your right leg lifted. Your hips are facing down. So we kind of did this in the beginning, right? Then keep the left toes tucked, three-legged dog. Lift it up. Bend your right knee. You're gonna reach, come up onto your right fingertips and as slow as you possibly can, you're making your way into a wild thing. So you're slowly rolling onto the outer edge of your left foot, slowly putting the right foot behind you. Mine hasn't even touched down yet. Still floating, still floating. Then set it down when you're ready and open your spine. You're basically in a wheel pose here, just on one arm. It's like you're halfway there. 
and then bring it back around to three-legged dog lift your leg up and back inhale exhale step your right foot between your hands inhale look forward exhale step to the front of the mat inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale stand reach the arms up exhale pull down on that bar bend your knees open your heart inhale re-extend the arms up exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale step your right foot back into low lunge set your back knee on the ground reach the arms up to the sky bring your hands to your heart inhale exhale twist to your left hook your elbow press the hands together breathe option to lift your back knee an option to take a different variation if you like to go into a bind, half bind or full bind or split the arms. Regardless, if your back leg is lifted, really engage firm those thigh muscles. Two more breaths. Can you draw your left hip back a little bit more to give yourself more space to twist? Set the knee down if it's not down, come to center. Reach your arms up, slide your heel back just like literally an inch. And then pull down and back bend. And you can stay in this like W shape with the arms or you can extend your arms back too. Your hips go forward, your arms go back. Listen to the signals of your body to decide where to go. And then let's all come upright. Inhale, exhale, hands down to the ground lift um i'm sorry put your hands inside of your left foot slide your left foot to the left lizard slide your back leg back lift your left arm up open your left knee to the left and then kick yourself in the butt with your right heel flex your foot hold it there one more breath kick a little harder and then on exhale, put your hands down to the ground. Bring your back knee up a little bit so you, your knee is directly under your hip. Swing your left leg behind you to come into a modified um, half moon from like a modified side plank position. Then bring your heel towards your glute again. Bring the knee back. Keep reaching the foot back. Open through the front body and then reach your hand back. Point the toes, grab onto your foot. And like a bow, like a bow and arrow, you're really extending it, like you're pulling back on that bow, getting ready to shoot. Good, re-extend the leg, reach the arm up. Come into one-legged tabletop. Nice, pause here. Tuck your toes of your right foot. Three-legged dog, take it up and back. You might need to slide your hands forward a little bit. Bend your left knee, open up your hip, come up onto your left fingertips, and as slow as you can, you're making your way into wild thing. Flipping your dog, another way to say it. Toes go to the ground, chest opens, expands, smiling with your heart and with your face too if you want. <laughs> Bring it back around to three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Look forward, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now come to chair pose. Sweep the arms up. Get low. Get real low until you're in boat pose. So let the butt go to the ground. I've said butt a lot today and I don't know why. <laughs> lift your legs up. Hold here. Open your heart. Straighten your legs if you can. And then lower down halfway, hold there. Then rise back up to high boat. Lower down for low boat. Keep your legs lifted, put your upper body on the ground and bring your knees up to 90 degrees. Take your arms straight forward, palms open like you're planting your hands on the wall in front of you. And then lift your chest and head and shoulders and lift your legs up. Now lower your legs down so that they're hovering off of the ground. Bend your knees, bring them back in. Chest is lifted all the while. Lift your legs up. Lower down, hold. Bend your knees, bring them in. 
Extend the legs up, inhale. Exhale, lower down, hold. Bend, bring it in, let's go one more time. Keep everything lifted, legs up, lower down. Bring the knees in. Relax your head, but keep your legs like this. Bring your hands behind your head, and now take your legs straight up to the sky. Keep your right foot flexed. Lower the left leg down so it's hovering an inch off the ground. Lift your chest and twist to your right. Almost done with core. Stay with it. Really get the elbow over to the other side of the leg, and then come back down to the ground. Lift both legs up. Lower the right leg down. Lift and twist to left. Right elbow to outer left leg. Hold, hold. Lift a little higher. Lower the head down. Lift both legs up. Bend your knees. Grab a hold of your knees. Little break. Soften. Bring the hands behind the thighs. We're gonna come up into a forward fold, so you can try to use no hands once you come up there, or use them if you need. So rock up, and you go right into a fold. And don't think about it too much. If it didn't go the way you wanted, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Lift up halfway. Fold. All right, lift up halfway again, plant your hands. Well, let's do a crow pose here, optional. If you want to hop back to chaturanga and go to down dog, you can. If you want to add in a crow pose, knees into your upper arms, look forward. We just did so much core work, right? So now you um, should be able to come into your, here a little easier because you have the strength. See if you can straighten the arms a little more and then option to step or hop it back through chaturanga into up dog and then downward facing dog take a big breath in and let it go lift your right leg up to the sky inhale exhale step your foot between your hands inhale rise up to high lunge take your arms wide and then take your right arm under your left arm for eagle arms inhale take a little back bend if you feel stable if not just stay upright Exhale, go forward, keep your back foot on the ground. You're just staying here in high lunge, but leaning forward. Inhale, come back up. Maybe you arch the back. Exhale, go forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, go forward, pause. Then lift your left leg up for warrior three with eagle arms. Rise up to one-legged mountain with eagle arms. So take the left leg with you. Also called stork pose, I've heard. And then take the left leg around the right leg for eagle. Full eagle wrap, arms and legs. Really stretching into the upper back by pulling those shoulder blades forward in this pose. And then unwind, keep your, let's unwind everything actually. Now bring your hands behind you, interlace your hands. Open up your chest and go back into warrior three with interlaced hands. We're gonna step into pyramid. So set your back foot down and fold forward. Arms up and over. If it's too much with clasped hands, you're welcome to put your hands on the ground. Good, now let's all put our hands down onto the ground. Walk the hands forward and come into standing splits. Shiva squat, left knee down towards right ankle. Real low, maybe hands to heart. And then uh, standing splits again. You can keep your hands at your heart if you want that extra balance challenge. And again, lower down, Shiva squat, get real low. And again, lift it up. And lower it down. And lift it up. Step back to low lunge, plant your hands. Step back to a one-legged plank. Bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Bring it down towards the right wrist. And back up to the upper arm. Extend it back to one-legged plank. Option for chaturanga. You can keep your leg lifted if you'd like. Upward facing dog, both feet down. And downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's do that again. In and give it away. All right, you ready? Feet together, lift your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. 
Rise up to high lunge. Take your arms wide and take your left arm under your right arm, eagle. Go forward. I'm sorry, take a back bend first. And then go forward and hold. Back leg is firm and strong. Inhale, lift up, maybe you back bend a little. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. Pause. Fly into warrior three. Rise up into one leg mountain with eagle arms. Make your way into eagle. Where's your breath? Stay connected to your truth, Satya, one of the yamas of yoga philosophy. We're gonna rise back up, unwind both arms, interlace your hands behind your back, and do the opposite thumb on top if you can figure that out. <laughs> Open your heart, and take your right leg back behind, warrior three, also called toppling tree, in a way. Step your foot back into pyramid and fold forward. If you can, keep your palms together. Not, it's not for everyone, but if you can, try. Notice what's happening with your feet. How are you gripping? How are you not gripping? And then release your hands down to the ground. Standing splits, lift your right leg up. Lower down for Shiva squat. Option to put your hands to your heart. And then back to standing splits. Maybe your hands stay together. They're lower than the heart. They're not really at the heart. Lower back down. Lift it up. Once more, yogis, go down. Hold. And then lift it up. And then step back into low lunge. Step back into one-legged plank. Bring your left knee to left upper arm. Down towards the wrist. Back up to the upper arm, one-legged plank, chaturanga, upward-facing dog, and downward-facing dog. Breathe in, and out. Bring your hands wide. We're gonna come through onto our backs. So bend your knees, get bouncy, do the best you can to hop through and all the way down onto your backs, knees into your chest. We pause, we pause to observe, to check in, to feel what does truth taste like in your body? And then release your feet down, arms down by your sides. Lift your hips up for bridge. Get those shoulder blades closer together. Slide them under. Option two, take your hands and point them to the sky, elbows down, and then put your palms underneath your sacrum. So like right below your lower back, kind of on the back of your hips. See if you can relax your hips over your hands. I know it's at the sacrifice of the elbows pressing deeply into the earth, but that's okay sometimes. Hmm. Slowly lower down. Let's take a moment to windshield wiper your legs. You've probably guessed we're coming into wheel next. It is a back bend focused flow. So of course you can ignore me. Remember when we did wild thing that we were kind of almost in wheel. So if you happen to have a fear of coming up into wheel, just think that you kind of already were there. If you did wild thing, wild thing earlier. So place the feet down, bring the hands by the ears, elbows facing up. By the way, it doesn't matter if you feel comfortable coming with your feet wide and your knees wide, that's completely fine. Find what feels more stable for you and then rise up. You can always lift your heels as well. See if that gives your back some space. Can you press your chest to the wall behind you that you're facing with your eyes? Press. 
One more breath. Tuck your chin, slowly lower down. And windshield wiper your legs, side to side. Circle out your wrists. To me, this is what truth tastes like. This is what truth feels like in my body. Hmm. Let's cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Um, figure four, we're gonna grab the back of the left thigh or the, or the shin. Now, if you're like, this doesn't do anything for me anymore, um, then instead I want you to hold on to your right leg with your right hand and your left hand and extend your left leg long. So it's like a su supine pigeon. And push your right knee away from you. You might even like really bring the leg in like you're rocking the baby, rock the baby pose, wrapping the arm around, left arm around so that the foot's on the inside crease of the left elbow. What works for you. Again, check in with your breath. Good. And then wherever you are, you come back into figure four, set the foot down on the ground, keep figure four with the left foot on the ground, let the whole unit fall to the left side for a twist, right arm out, left hand on top of right leg. And then bring the knee back to center. Uncross your beautiful legs. Cross your left leg over your right leg. Figure four, you can pull it in. If that feels good, stay there. If you would like some more, you know what to do into your uh, supine pigeon. And keep in mind that your sides will be different. One side will feel, might feel tighter or just different than the other. And that's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. Just something to note and be aware of so we can have awareness of our bodies. The more we are aware of our bodies, the more we can uh, notice when things start to go awry. And then the more we can take care of ourselves when we need. Take one more breath. Okay, come back into figure four. If you're not there already, put your right foot down. Your left leg is still crossed over and then let everything fall to the right. Open your left arm to the left. And bring your knees back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. Hopefully the legs feel a little better now. The outer glutes might have been sore from a lot of the work we did. And so we stretched them out. Knees wide, rock side to side. Good, happy baby. Grab onto the outer edges of your feet. You can rock side to side here. You can also grab onto your big toes and take your legs into a V. And press your tailbone to the earth. Soften your shoulders. Feel the belly rise and fall. And then bend your knees and bring your knees back into your chest. Inhale. And on exhale, release your legs all the way down to the ground. Arms down by your sides. Get comfortable. We'll spend a few minutes here in Shavasana. Feel the breath move in and out of the nostrils, smooth and soft. The body is open and the physical work is done. Now the work is to just stay, just stay here. Knowing that it's always worth it. I am truth.
Let's begin to bring movement back in through the fingers and toes. You can touch your fingertip to each thumb tip. You can take your arms overhead and take a full body stretch. And bend your knees, roll to one side. Rest for just a moment, just a breath. Eventually make your way up to a seat. Bring your palms together and let's bow together in gratitude for this practice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, beautiful people for being here and practicing. I hope um, that we can practice again soon. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you loved this video or if you didn't love it, or this class, um, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and know who's taking the classes and what you guys think about it. Okay, I will see you in the next class.